guys welcome to learn and enjoy kitchen i'm azadeh and today we're gonna make a great tasty dish but before we start subscribe our channel and hit the bell to get informed of our latest videos as soon as they're uploaded Today's dish is called Sheshandaze Bademjan. It's an eggplant stew. In different cities, it is cooked in different ways. Where do people cook it? Zanjan, Gilan, Khuzestan, Qazvin, and some other cities of Iran, each in their own way. So now that I'm cooking it, don't say there is another way to cook. We're going to cook this dish with a few ingredients. First, we need ground walnuts, Eggplant rings that you fried beforehand. Sour pomegranate paste, onion, salt, black pepper, and turmeric. That's all. After you make it, you can serve it with cooked rice or bread. Now let's learn how to cook this delicious dish. The ingredients are ground walnuts 200 grams, fried eggplant rings 400 grams, pomegranate paste 3 tablespoons, salt, black pepper, turmeric, onion 1 medium, and cooking oil as you need. To start, first peel the onion, then chop it finely. Put a pot on the stove and add some oil and heat it. Then add the chopped onion and saute until it turns golden. Meanwhile, Peel the eggplants and slice them into about 2 cm thick rings. Don't forget to stir the onion. When it is golden, add the ground walnuts and stir continuously on low heat. Otherwise, the walnuts will burn quickly. When the color changes, it's time to add the spices. First turmeric, then salt and black pepper. Saute them until they mix well. After that, add sour pomegranate paste and mix well. Then add two to three glasses of cold water to the pot and mix well. Then put the lid and let it cook well. Meanwhile, you can fry the eggplants. Put a pan on the stove, add some oil to it, then add the eggplant rings in hot oil and let one side of them fry. Now, turn them and fry the other side as well. Now, 
When the stew thickens a little, you can add fried eggplant rings to it. And then leave it cook for some more time to get a taste. When you see small bubbles on the stew, it means that it's ready to be served. You can serve this stew either with cooked rice or bread. This is a tasty dish for vegetarians or vegans. Bon appetite! Dear friends, this was today's recipe. I hope you cook it and enjoy it. Please follow us on other social networks and recommend our channel to your friends. Till another delicious recipe, goodbye.